Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all having a nice weekend out there. My weekend's off to a good start. Can't complain. Had my watermelon juice this morning, and um, yeah, just kind of easing into the day. No real plans today. Just going to do a couple of videos, do some Instagram stuff, and uh, just see what happens over the weekend. Anyhow, today I want to share a little recipe with you, man. This one is nice and creamy and smoky and it's raw. So if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button now. Then be sure you click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. And let me say to begin with, this is a rarity for me. I'm not a recipe person. People are always asking me, what's the recipe? I'm not that guy to ask because I like what I eat, but it's very just utilitarian. So yeah, I'm not the recipe person, but when I get a good one, I definitely want to share. Um, so let's get right to it. This one's not going to be a very long video today. I didn't. F I figure you all know how to use a blender uh, <laughs> or a Vitamix, so you didn't need to see me actually make it. Um, I've got a nice big salad here. My salads are pretty simple, usual. Usually, I've just got a full head of romaine lettuce and some lentil sprouts that I sprout myself. And I've got this nice uh, salad dressing. I've shared this a couple of times on Instagram, and I said, well, I'll do a recipe video. Oh, I think I did it in an uh, what, you eat, what I Eat in a Day video here. And I said, I'll share it when I get the, uh, when I feel like I've got it down, or I've got the recipe where it is. Well, I haven't really tweaked it all that much because it's just really good. I really enjoy it. Um, and as I said, this one is really thick and creamy, and I'll give you, a, I'll give you some options on it. So the recipe is two tablespoons of hemp seeds, one tablespoon nutritional yeast. Um, I, I use a couple of cloves of garlic. Um, I, I use half of a lemon and I, I, the juice, I juice it in there. I use a nice healthy splash of Bragg's in there. Bragg's gives it kind of that smoky flavor to it. And then I use a full avocado and I put a little bit of Himalayan salt on there. Now with the water, you can do a number of things with this. Now me, I'm, I'm not worried about the fat today. I wanna eat some fat, so I'm gonna eat this whole thing, the whole avocado, everything. I like a lot of dressing on my salad. But with one, uh, with one avocado, a full avocado, you see how much that made. And I made it really thick. Now, some people don't like as much, on, they don't need as much salad dressing on their salad. So you could, pro a lot of people could probably get away with using less of this, but also you could use more water and water this down a little bit because you I could have definitely used more water and it wouldn't be watery. The one word of caution I would give you on that, and always remember this, always remember this because when you're making a recipe that you really like, you're gonna get pissed off if, you, <laughs> if your hand gets too heavy. You can always add more water. Once you pour it into the recipe, you can never take it away. So be very, very careful. Just pour a little bit of water in there, blend, see how it goes. Pour a little bit more water in there, blend, see how it goes, and kind of keep doing that. Now, once you get to a certain amount of water in there, it'll really, you know, it'll get going good. And then you can kind of play with it, let it blend all the way, turn your uh, blender, your Vitamix, whatever off, and kind of check the consistency. Maybe stick a spoon in there, taste it. And then you can add just a little bit more, but let me keep stressing, just a little bit more water. Don't be like, oh yeah, that's too thick, and go back in and pour a big splash in there, and then you're like, damn. And I've done that before, and then I, I've done that before and tried to kind of recreate the recipe like okay it's really it's really watery here let me see i can throw some more hemp seeds in i can throw some more of this in i can throw some more of that in but like i say the best thing to do is just use that water sparingly and use little by little by little but this is a good one right here i had this uh i think this is a, this is definitely the third time i've had it this week i think it's the fourth time i've made this one overall and this is a good one this is a very good one. I like avocado. I go through periods. Sometimes I'll, uh, I'll eat three or four avocados in one week, and then I won't have an avocado for a month, six weeks, sometimes two months. Uh, so 
just depends on uh, you know what kind of what quality avocados I'm getting. These I, I actually got some at the curb market yesterday here that they were four for a dollar. The first one was really good. I cut one. I cut one that wasn't good, and then I the one I used today it was pretty good. So when you're paying twenty five cents a piece, you know, and you get one really good avocado, and then you get a couple of avocados that are still good, it's worth it. Worth it to me, anyhow. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe share this one around because this is a nice. And also, too, this is one of those recipes that's really tasty. You know, sometimes there's these recipes, they're good for you, but you're like, eh, this one's really tasty. Your friends will like this. Even your non-vegan friends will like this. So, y'all have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Peace.